Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will define the different types of supply chain analytics using real examples and understand the concepts behind. This video is following an article I published a few weeks ago. I have added the link in the description. In this article, I define supply chain analytics and the different types behind this general concept. For each type, I share examples of projects and article I publish in my blog. A supply chain can be defined as several parties exchanging flows of material, information, or money resources with the ultimate goal of fulfilling a customer request. Let's take the example of the global supply chain network of a closing retailer. You have stores all around the world that are replenished by regional and global warehouses, storing goods produced in factories. These are the flows of goods. Planners send replenishment orders, delivery orders, production schedules, while marketing teams receive sales data from stores' point of sales. These are the flow of information. The question is, how can you use the flow of information to optimize the flow of goods? Let's introduce the different types of supply chain analytics. The idea is to use data to answer basic operational questions. What happened? Descriptive analytics. The sales jumped by 20%. Why this happened? Diagnostic analytics. It's because of national holidays. What can happen in the future? Predictive analytics. Sales will increase by 10% next week. What should we do? Prescriptive analytics. We should replenish the store tomorrow. Descriptive analytics is basically using data to know what happened. For instance, in your warehouse, how many orders were prepared? You can build a warehouse workload report with a simple bar plot shot showing the number of orders and lines peak per day. For your distribution channel, where are my shipments in transit? Build a supply chain control tower using a simple donut plot showing the number of shipments per last status. Or for your transportation planning, how good is my routing? Visualize the route planning using a 2D map of the store's location, grouping the delivery points by route. For diagnostic analytics, you use data to conduct root cause analysis, usually following a supply chain issue. For instance, for your end-to-end -end distribution, you can analyze the, the delayed root cause analysis, why your shipments arrive late, track your shipment at each stage of the delivery process, measure the time step, and use them to automatically find the bottleneck in the process. Or you can follow Lean Six Sigma methodology with a statistical approach to understand why do you have delays on specific routes. For instance, in this example, I use the chi-square test to understand if delays of some routes are due to driver's allocation. I share the links of these articles explaining these examples. Then you have predictive analytics. You use data, past data actually, to predict the future. For instance, machine learning for retail sales forecasting. How much will be the sales during the next week promotion? You basically use tree-based algorithm to predict the sales, considering key business features such as promotion, store opening, SKU type, holidays. And finally, prescriptive analytics. You support the operation to solve problems and optimize the resources to reach the best efficiency. For instance, warehouse picking route optimization. What is the route that minimizes the walking distance? Usually, you will use linear programming or heuristic approach to maximize or minimize an objective function by setting decision variables while respecting constraints. Same for the warehouse value-added service scheduling. So you have a warehouse with different VAS operations such as kitting, quantity check, labeling. What is the best scheduling of tasks to minimize the cycle time? This is a classic problem called job shop problem that will help you to solve your scheduling issues. You can find links explaining these examples in the description down below. Now that you understand the different types of supply chain analytics, how can you implement them? For all types, you'll need to access harmonized and clean data. Knowing that you probably work with different systems, you will need the data engineering team with cloud computing resources to extract data from these different sources, harmonize them in a single source. For descriptive and diagnostic analytics, you'll need an extra effort to build a data analytics product 
So business team can also access the data as a service to get description of the event. So you will need data analysts, product managers, and BI experts. Data scientists will help you to design the models for prescriptive and predictive analytics. And supply chain engineers will always support with their operational expertise and guide the engineers to ensure data consistency and the scientists for results interpretations. Why is it important? So you have four types of supply chain analytics. And you have five main activities to ensure optimal end-to-end -end supply chain management. You need to spot the problems if you want to deploy solution. That's why descriptive analytics will help you. You want to minimize the risk of failures by finding bottlenecks and weaknesses in your processes. Therefore, you need diagnostic analytics. You would like to provide visibility to plan the future. Predictive analytics is your best ally. And you want to optimize your operation, reducing cost and improving capacity. That's why prescriptive analytics will be your main support. In my blog, you can find many examples of descriptive analytics solution, mainly focusing on reporting and visualization. An example of end-to-end -end diagnostic of supply chain issues, a series of articles to build sales forecasting model, and many examples of prescriptive models using linear or nonlinear programming. So if you want to practice your skills, have a look at this article where you'll find case studies with source code and dummy data. For any question, feel free to leave a comment.